the first of which uh, this court has found that there appears to be uh, intentional uh, discrimination in the panel. Uh, that's that prima facie case. Uh, and I guess before I get into this, um, one of the challenges that I think uh, counsel recognized in this case is the, the racial overtones in the case. And um, those can't, uh, at least here, without the, the jury present, uh, based on the questioning, we have not been able to escape those discussions with the panel, and, and they've just come up in a lot of different contexts. So, you know, this is sort of a continuation of a conversation that I think will continue for a long time with respect to this case uh, and maybe um, many others. Um, and so we start getting into this question about race. And again, uh, quite a few African-American jurors were excused through preemptory strikes exercised by the defense. But that doesn't mean that the court has the, the authority to reseat um, simply again because there's this prima facie case, because we see it sort of one of those, it's not one of those we see it, therefore it is. There's now additional steps the court needs to engage in.